Welcome everyone to episode one, season one, of Dancing on the Delta with Mississippi Valley State Delta Devils. We're going to play a little bit of uh, Draft Day Sports College Basketball 22. We attempted this save one other time, but I couldn't get it to work right, and so thankfully we're going to have it working pretty well this time, I think. We're able to get the picture for the game to actually stay there. Soldier 6, how are you doing today, buddy? It's a college basketball game from Wolverine Studios. They play, uh, they play, they have college basketball, college football, pro football, pro basketball, and I think they might have another, uh, another couple games as well, but I've only ever played, sorry, I'm going to try to adjust this camera here a little bit. I've only ever played their, uh, their college sports games, their college football, and their college basketball. This is the the newest version. This came out on the 17th, I believe. I played their their college basketball 20, 22, uh, 21, excuse me, now 22. So um, the point of this save is going to be to win the national championship with the Mississippi Valley State Delta Devils. Um, normally we do a little first start up going through making sure everything's set up I did that already when we attempted this last week um, I don't know what is going on with my tablet I am trying to update some apps so I can get the twitch one pulled up better um, so I'm gonna go through here real quick and let's take a look at the school info which is gonna be important for the save obviously they are 505 wins 731 losses all-time record uh, they've won five conference championships. They've never won a national championship. They've been in the NCAA tournament five times, the NIT tournament once, the CBI and CIT never. Um, they are in Itabena, Mississippi. Uh, Mississippi Valley State University is most commonly known for being the alma mater of Jerry Rice, the NFL Hall of Fame wide receiver so uh, most recently they did have a uh, former NBA player Lindsey Hunter as their head coach but he left after five seasons um, the facilities are a uh, C level the academics are a D level and the SAT minimum for players to come play for us is a 820 so Let's go look at our strategy, which is going to be the, <clears throat> excuse me, our teams, how we're set up to play offensive defense. So, so I'm trying to get this to update, but it's being dumb. Offensively, we're going to do the flex and triangle because, quite honestly, it's the two that we're the most uh, familiar with with our players from the most part. Uh, normally I'm a motion flex guy. And then we have on defense, we're going to be doing man-to-man, -man, the 1-2-2 two, two zone, and then our pressure defensive set is going to be full court man-to-man. -man. Again, same reasons, ones that we're, we know the best. So that's what we're going to go with for the time being. Uh, let's go took 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 excuse me let's go take a look at our roster and see what we can do here our coaches we have player development coach Alan Perry and the other two coaches are Zach Barnes and Ernest Persal neither one of them are anything to write home about so in the offseason we're going to try and get ourselves a uh, a good recruiting coach and a scouting coach technically definitely the recruiting that's going to be the most important and for some reason, I cannot get that to show up. So it's going to be a pain in the butt trying to pay attention to chat and pay attention to the game itself. Anyway, uh, let's go look at our roster. See what kind of players we're working with. I'm just going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to restart my tablet usually that works so we have our best player looks like it's going to be power forward senior 
Collis Knight, six foot eight. Inside shooting, outside shooting, good athleticism. Nothing really to write home about in other spots. Uh, power forward Jack Jensen. He is six foot seven. 73 outside shooting, which is nice. 50% on three throws. Okay, athleticism. Okay, discipline. All again, not great defensively. And Jack is a senior as well. We have shooting guard Edmund McConnell. Six foot one. 88 outside shooting, which is fantastic. The 74 free throws are good. 79 athleticism is not bad. Discipline, 65. Torrent scoring is not great, but... It's better. It'll, it'll be. He'll probably be one of our top scorers with that. And then we've got junior center Matt Harris. 80 inside, 76 outside, which is nice. Uh, not great rebounding or anything. He's good at drawing fouls. And our next best player looks like we have a sophomore center named Jake Gelbard. Jake Elbard, he's, uh, he is what he is, kind of. So, we are currently redshirting freshman shooting guard. I think it was a freshman, was he? Yep, freshman shooting guard, Mario Wright, six foot three. He's got good outside shooting. His athleticism isn't terrible. And then we are also redshirting freshman small forward, Quinn Spink. Quinn Spink. Looks like he might end up being a you know semi decent player all around, but right now he's nothing to write home about. And I think that's really the important part to going through there. We don't have a lot of other you know guys to show off here. Tim Cleveland, six foot two guard, junior. He's got eighty eight outside shooting, eighty athleticism, so that's nice. His ball handling is a fifty four. Uh, point guard Tim Smith. 95 outside shooting, 72 free throws, that's good. 54 ball handling, 31 stealing could be better. 77 athleticism, not bad. As you can see, kind of going through your Kyle Hester, 79, 85, 65. He's a junior. A 6'6 six six junior small forward, excuse me. And Michael Burks, a... Freshman, small forward, six foot eight, seventy eight outside shooting, fifty eight free throws, seventy seven athleticism. Wendell Carter, a junior point guard, seventy eight outside, seventy four free throws, thirty two drawn fouls, eighty three athleticism. Again, not bad. Uh, Chris Lewis, a freshman shooting guard, six five, seventy six outside shooting. That's pretty much his best attribute. And then power forward Ernest Brown, a sophomore, 75 inside shooting, 58, 58 for drawing fouls. So nothing crazy to write home about. So we are going to go ahead and we're in September. Do we have any uh, scholarships for the next season? So let's check that. We have no scholarships for the next season. Did I offer some already? Or do we just not have any? No scholarships remaining. So let's check this real quick. Did I already offer one? Because I might have offered one on the other. Okay, yep. So I offered some already. All right. So we have Senate, seven foot one Michigan Center, Casey Cliff, that we've offered a scholarship to. Looks like he's got good inside shooting, good outside shooting, good passing, good shot blocking. Defense could be better. Re rebounding could be a lot better. Scoring's a B plus, which is great, but he's a he is a B minus overall. And then we have six foot four Mississippi guard Jonathan Selick. He's got A plus outside shooting, B plus passing, which is great. B handling, which is great. B scoring, which is good. His stealing's a C minus, which could be better. B minus overall. And then we have. Power forward, Rashif Bowman, six foot seven, B minus overall, B plus defense, B minus outside shooting, A minus inside shooting, B minus scoring, which is great. All that's fantastic. I am a big fan. 
So we are going to keep those three and see what happens. We'll go from here. Do we need to good on Jonathan and Casey? Do we need to text you? We need to text you next week. So we're going to go ahead and advance. Hope everybody's doing well out there. Having a good day or evening. Uh, let me see here. So, Soldier 6, how are you doing? How's your uh, FM save going? Excuse me. I decided we're going to do this. and I got my Monday nights free. So, Monday nights we're going to play this. And then all our other normal times that we're streaming. Or I'm streaming, I should say. We're going to go ahead and just play Football Manager. So, Getting ready to start our first season in the Obos Ligen, the second tier of Norwegian football, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, Alright, so let's look at the mail real quick. It's going to be new for me too, really, because I do a lot of... Oh, look at that. He already decided where he's going. And he's coming here. Fantastic. Awesome. Alright, so Jonathan is uh, giving a verbal to us. Uh, Rashif does not see him playing for us, which is a shame. Jonathan, yep, you love that you're ready. You're going to come here. Practice started. So, if we go and look here at the recruiting class, we have our guy, Jonathan Seeluck, already given his verbal to play for us next year. Like, Gotta love the scoring, gotta love the passing, outside shooting. All right, so it still shows him as cool. So, we're going to... See if maybe we convince him. He'll probably end up changing his mind this this week. But until it takes him off, I am not going to stop trying to get him. All right. And we want to watch film. We need to text him so we can find out what he likes so we can go talk to him. And Kelsey, how about location? No. How about playing time? Okay, good. Location? No. This is probably the my least favorite part of the game is when you're texting these recruits and you got to sit there and go back and forth like this. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Instead of just you know putting me back out at the main screen. Sorry about that. My I hit my leg on something and I didn't realize it. It doesn't feel the best right now. Okay. So he doesn't want coach discipline. He doesn't want playing time. Comes prestige. Of course not. All right. How about program facilities? No, but you have other stuff to do. Of course you do. I do too, buddy. I'm not talking to you, but here we are. So I left the uh, offering money in the game, illegal recruiting, because it's part of the game. Uh, I will not do it. It's not my thing. But yeah, I'm wasting my my texting time on him by not getting him to talk to me. There we go. There we go. How about there? All right. There. All right. Now let's take a look at it and see if we got one of them that we can use. Hey, hey location. There we go. Perfect. All right. Location. And just in case, we are going to go... Oh, let's see, Rashif Bowman, he may not want to come, so, how, and how about Shane Dodson, Shane, your scoring is horrendous, let's go up here to the actual, and, interested recruits, How about only available? There we go. Overall, David Wilcox, you're not terrible. John Wright. No. Okay. Well, let's see if we can talk to you real quick and get anything off of you. And 
I believe we are out of texting. We are. All right. Moving on to the next week. Glad we were able to get this to work because when we tried last week, it, the only way I could get it to work was with a uh, was with using the uh, display capture, and it was making OBS freeze up. So, thankfully, uh, couldn't get to work with game capture, unfortunately, but we were able to get it to work with window capture. So that's fantastic. All right, and let's see what we have here. Kelsey Cliff, Indiana State. All right, buddy. Don't even need to see that. That was a waste of time. I shouldn't have deleted all those that fast, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and check it out again. I'm sure Bowman is no longer happy with us. Yeah, as you can see, Bowman's no longer in the list. So, we're going to go back here and unoffer that scholarship. See, he went to none. And that's what happens when they don't want to talk to you, but that's okay. Okay, so. Interested recruits. We're going to talk to David Wilcox. Look at you again. Who is the other one? John Wright. Let's look at John Wright. John Wright, we are going to offer you a scholarship. And we're going to text you and see what we can find out, young man. Okay. All right. All right. You're not interested in Coach Discipline. That's cool. Not a problem. No. Oh. It's like a game of chess with these guys trying to get this sometimes, and it's not a very good game of chess at that. All right. Mr. Wright, just tell us what you want. prestige no let's look at uh andros the seven oh yeah buddy we're gonna give you a scholarship and you want playing time so that's good we're good on you you were from greece seven foot six ten though we'd probably put him in our our uh intermediate guy saying he's seven foot because you know how the and basketball they lie about height so i think the nba has finally gotten around to uh Putting the kibosh on that. John Wright. Come on, buddy. Something, anything. All right, we are all texted out on John Wright. We'll see what happens next week. We offered you a scholarship. We offer Andros a scholarship. That should have been two, so that's it. Four. Yeah, ideally, I like to have a the entire lineup that can that, that that's good at stealing, and then a lot of scorers, or at least somebody with a really high scoring, and then the the point guard, obviously being able to. Being able to uh, being really good at passing, assist, and at steals. Well, at least he told us that. That's something. Okay. Recruit. What we got left? We got conference prestige. Okay. John Wright. Let's get this finished, buddy. How about location? <sighs> you rat bastard. Come on, man. I'm gonna do that. You already told us you like you didn't like that. You could have just said it's such a pain in the ass.
I guess the point of some of these guys, you're almost like, man, I don't even want you to come to my school because it took you, it took so long to get you to give me something to talk to you about. Let's look at these other guys real quick, because he's starting to annoy me with that. He's a JUCO. I'm not really going to look at JUCOs, because thankfully, due to the uh, due to the modern day portal, we can get seniors, juniors, and sophomores who are going to be automatically eligible to next season. So, any scholarships we aren't able to use this season, going into the off season we should be able to snag somebody like see I like that he's got the 3.3 for steals per game but I don't like that he's a junior and I'm only going to get like two seasons out of him so and this guy's got five assists per game which I like this guy's got three point, five point two assists per game which I like but again a junior and his steals are crap and he doesn't average a lot of points so And where are you at, Mr. Wright? Let's try one last time. See what we can get off you. Hey, hey. So. It's probably going to be Conference Prestige. All that, and it's Conference Prestige. What a jerk. <clears throat> it's going to be a new experience for me, too, because I usually, the way I play is... Uh, I go into the season, I have everything set up, and then I just sim the entire season. I more play it for the actual like recruiting aspect and building of the team that way aspect, but watching the games and stuff is usually not something I do, so that's going to be new for me. All right, Jose, let's film on you again. Okay, outside shooting is decent, inside shooting is terrible, your passing is good, your defense is good. Alright, let's try this again. Tell you about her school. Tell you about her school. Tell you about her school. There it is. Color me shocked. Conference prestige. Alright. And Ironos, Andros, we're good on you already. We know you like playing time. I apologize. My back just started to itch like crazy. Whew. Okay. Now the bad thing, excuse me, with I'll try to tell people as much as I can about these games if you don't if you have not familiar with them or haven't played them, is that uh, international recruits are hit or hit or miss. You could have a five star international recruit and that doesn't mean he's gonna be a five star player. You could have a one star international recruit who ends up being a five star player. That's the way the game's coded, which you learn, and it's actually kind of interesting and cool. Because one of the first things I learned to do on, like, I think it was like 2021, was I couldn't get I couldn't get really high star players, couldn't get really high star players, and then I would I learned to snipe uh, international players in the off season recruiting. So, like right at the very end, like right before they went to the off season, I would snipe them. So. All right, so let's go ahead and we've looked at everybody. I'm going to change this from bios to ratings. And let's see, scoring ratings. Wright, Carter, Andros, and Brown. Carter's got good passing. Both got good passing, good handling. Outside shooting, he's a better inside shooter. Free throws, Brown, Jose is better. Defense, Jeff's better. Stealing, neither one of them are anything to write home about. Let's more film on this guy. Let's use whatever textings we got left to see what we can find out from Jeff. 
because Jeff might be somebody we actually want to bring in to play the guard, point guard. His steals won't be good, but everything else should be pretty good about him. Come on, Jeff. All right. All right, Mr. Carter. Which, by the way, if you've ever seen those Mr. Carter movies, I didn't see the original with uh, Michael Caine, but I've seen the remake of it with Stallone. And, I mean, Michael Caine was in it as well, but with Sylvester Stallone and Mickey Rourke, and I love that movie. Man, oh man, every time it's a struggle. Sometimes it's not, to be honest. But, like, when it is, it is. And it's just... A, that would be my one complaint I would, if I ever if I ever had a chance to be like, hey, Gary, let's, let's, let's make recruiting not so... You know, texting the recruits not so pain in the butt. That would be my biggest complaint. And if I ever could be like, change one thing about the game, what would you like to change? Texting wouldn't be such a pain in the ass for players. So... All right, well, playing time. Good. We know that for going forward. All right. Let's see what next week brings us. Give it a try. All right, no mail. So, Jeff, we're going to watch some more film on you. John, we're going to watch some more film on you. We're going to try and host you. At least we're on your list now, so that's good. We already know what you want, so we're just going to watch you again. Jose. Good. Let's go ahead and at least try and get some... Texting stuff out of the way with you. There we go. We know you like playing time. Playing time location. So we're good. We're good on him. All right. So let's go look at our schedule and see how it. Breeze, how you doing, buddy? Hope you're doing well. We have got the game going well and perfect now. Uh, we're using the window capture instead of the game capture slash display capture. It is going, and we have Cardinals uh, cards to thank for that. Cards told me and uh, the community manager uh, C. Jackson about it. So <clears throat> hope you're having a good day. Good night. Good night. Good night. Well, good night. I guess technically it's 7:34. Oh, schedule. Nobody too scary there on the schedule there still, if I remember correctly. Yeah, nobody bad. Nobody bad. All right. Let's see what this next week brings. Getting close to being... Uh, Starting the season, which, like I said, is going to be new for me because I'm actually going to sit and watch the games instead of uh, sitting through the entire seasons. <laughs> oh, crap. Scouting for it. We already did our red shooting. We're good there. Uh, I should definitely go check out game options to make sure we don't have it turned off like I normally do. Sorry for that. Fast simulations on. That's good. Um, yeah, we're going to get slow simulation on human games only. Um, we are not simulating human games. Okay. We really don't even want to do that. 
And whoa, we're not gonna yeah, we're gonna Is it gonna change too much? Let's see if it changes anything because I unclicked it. Okay, good, everything's staying the same. Excellent. Alright, so here we go. Getting ready to start the season. This is going to be... I legit don't think... This is my third year playing the game. And I don't think I've actually played an actual game. I've always just simmed out the seasons. And worried about recruiting. And... That's it. So this is going to be definitely a new thing for me as well. Man, let me think. I would pay enough attention to know that not to put that down while the other side was still itching too. All right. Okay, season begins. Scan and report, scan and report, you report. Guess I should do that now since I'm actually going to be playing games. Best player for Montana State, Christian Brewer. Christian Brewer. <clears throat> Normal place offense allows their players some offensive freedom outside the sets. Half court, balanced attack with primary set being high post. Defense, they rarely press. Half court defense seems to be 2 3 zone. Pressure defense, full court, man to man. All right. Well, we have the advantage of power forward. Everything else, we are pretty much equal from what it looks. All right, here we go. And let's try. Uh... Huh. All right, so there's our game. Guess it'll stop when it's our turn. First game, playing Army. <coughs> Excuse me. Two D gameplay. Um, yeah. Hey, I control. I can just watch it. Yeah, I control it. It's too close. We'll go ahead and do on the dirty 2 2D gameplay. Here we go. Tom Smith, Edmund McDonald, Jack Jensen, Collis Knight, and Matt Harris are starting lineup. All right. Okay. Offensive options, auto switch, that's fine. Balanced, okay. Uh, good, good, good. There. Do that for now, in case I need to change it. Here we go. <laughs> Yeah. 
do anything there when you get when you get close to the side and you kick it just like automatically go. I might have to turn the game sound off if it's out if it's Why is it just autoplay? I should just, I mean, you would think it would just autoplay when stuff happens. Uh, we are not going to pause at all stops, and we're going to turn the game sounds off. All right, here we go. That way we can at least, you can hear the music and stuff instead of us trying to hear the, the game sound over the music sound. All right, all tied up. That was not good. Let's get a turnover or rebound here, boys. Nice rebound. Oh, come on. Come on, boys. Get it in there. Nice. Nice. Well done. Good job, Jack. That was a terrible turnover. Well, now that we're doing this, we could probably speed this up a little bit. There we go. If that's going too fast for y'all, just let me know, and I will slow it down. Because I think it might even go a little too fast for me. So. Come on, boys. Somebody needs to make a defensive stand here. Play some defense and make some shots, boys. There we go. There we go. Jensen for Ernest Brown. So, click the photo of the player you want to replace. So, I play from the table. Okay, so we want to do Ernest Brown. Ernest Brown. Ernest Brown. Jensen. Ernest Brown. Jensen. All right, well, obviously, we're not knowing how to do that, so... We are going to go ahead and auto sub for now. Because obviously we don't know how to do that. I 
There we go. Good job, Ernest. Let's get back in this game, boys. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. All right, maybe we'll turn the uh, game sounds back on. This crowd is cheering awful hard for the other team making shots. I'm a little disappointed to say the least. I don't know if you can hear me over those basketball sounds. Oh, they booed. There we go. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Terrible defense right now. Player of the half for them, or for the game, I guess, technically. Looks like it was Sebastian Adams, 13 points, one assist, two rebounds. And we are down. They scored 44, we scored 39. Our top scorer so far has been center Matt Harris. Uh, let's see. Knight had a turnover, Jensen had a turnover, Smith had three turnovers. Excuse me, which is terrible. Elwood had two turnovers. They had more points in the paint. They had more second chance points. And they had more fast break points. So, we've definitely got to pick up the pace a little bit here, boys. Alright, so, let's try this again with subs. We want to look at our point guards, Tim Cleveland, 88, 54, 80, 35, and Tom Smith, 95, 34, 31, 32, ball handling's 54. What was Cleveland's ball handling? 54. 49, 78, 25. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so a breeze they are. It's the it's Mississippi Valley State University in Idabina, Mississippi. It's uh, where Jerry Rice went to college. It's his alma mater. It is a real-life team. All the I'm using the uh, real-life NCAA mod 
for this. So these are all real teams. One hundred percent. Mississippi Valley State University. All right, so two, three, six, fifteen. We are definitely going to have to upgrade our guard play because these boys are not going to cut it. He's gone anyway. He's a senior. Is Smith a senior too? I hope he's a junior. Well, Smith, unless I think we're going to get somebody. You're going to come off the bench next year, buddy. We're probably going to try and get somebody else to be running the point because you are not the one. All right, so... Let's try this just for giggles. And then... Nope. Okay. Two substitutes. Select a player from the table and click the photo of the player you want to replace. Subs can be only done. Okay, so if I select a player from the table... So I want to select you. Select. 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 Hey, it worked. Nice. I don't know how that worked, but... Jensen. Okay, so you basically, it's like a drag and drop. So, drag and drop. Got it. Okay, now I know how to do it in the past. In the, pa in the past. In the future! So, good to know. Oh, the sound is just so loud. There was a way to turn it down. That's, I'll, I'll say that's a, that's something we'll report, is that the game sound still uh, plays when you turn it off. So we will definitely turn that in as a report after the game. Some defense. There we go. 
finally recognized I turned it off. Jeez Louise. Uh oh. What happened? What the heck just happened? Okay, are we restarting the game? Is that what this is? We're restarting the game. Interesting. Okay. That's definitely new to me. So we want game speed about here. Uh, offensive pace above there. Offensive freedom there. Crash boards, let's go there. Defensive crash boards there. Defensive intensity about there. Full court there. And I am getting a phone call, so give me one moment. Sorry about that. That was my fiance telling me she's on her way home. She taught yoga tonight. I don't know why I restarted the game. That's super weird. I'll have to talk to uh, the community about that. Um, on the plus side, we're winning this time, so that's cool. But I have no idea how that happened. Did I leave the auto sub on? Okay, good. We're good there. Return to game. So that's good. Um, I will be right back though. I'm going to leave the game running. I need to go and unlock my front door because my fiance is on the way home. So I'll be right back. All right, I am back. And how are we doing now that I'm back? We are losing. Excuse me. I feel like we're gonna go ahead and increase that game speed just a little bit. Try and make up for the fact that we, uh, somehow the game restarted. I don't know what that was all about. Nice rebound, Brown. Nice rebound. There we go. There we go, boys. Keep up the good work. Nice, Tim. Nice. Let's go, boys. Keep it up. No, we need to score. We need to score. There we go. Nice rebound. There we go. Nice layup, Chris. I'm sorry. <laughs> nice layup, Collins. Or Collis. Jeez, I need them. These names are so small there. 
Come on, boys. There we go. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Come on, Collis. You need to do better than that. Good job, Jake. Good job, Jake. Had a boy. Nice. Good job, Jake. Jake's having himself a nice little game. He was having a good game, too, earlier. Good job, Jake. Come on, Jake. There you go. Nice rebound, Jake. There we go, Jack. There we go. I think that's the play right there, having Jake and Harrison at the same time. That might be that might be a nice strategy. We'll check that out next game. Come on, boys. Let's go. Nice. Well done, Jake. Well done. Having a hell of a game, young man. I'm here for it. There you go, Tim. There you go. Yeah, Breeze, this is, like I said, this is, I mean, other than earlier when it stopped and we had to restart the game, uh, this is really the first time I've actually sat and watched an actual game. I, like I said, normally when I play this offline, I just, I sim the seasons out and I then go in and, you know, do the recruiting in the off seasons and try to do a little bit of recruiting in season and worry about setting up strategies and hiring coaches and so watching the game is like completely new to me so all right going to halftime we are up 46 to 42 a little different from last time current player of the half was our boy jake gelbard well done jake like the look of it you may have to you may get to start next game because of this buddy i am definitely liking that you and harris both i mean i kind of feel like you guys should be starting together some towers of power there oh, okay who else is having a good so Jake's really good Burks is doing all right on the plus minus oh Benz is doing one well the plus minus uh Cleveland's got six points Harris has 10 Jensen has four Knight has four Smith has two O'Connell uh, McConnell excuse me has none so that's disappointing. We've had more points in the paint. We've had more second chance points. And it looks like we also have, if I move this out of the way, we have the same amount of fast break points. So good to know. All right, here we go. Turn to the game. Let's get this started. Come on, boys. Come on. Nice layup. Nice layup, Tim. Nice defensive rebound. Let's get in there and score. Had a boy, Harris. Had a boy. Boy, they play well both ends. Jensen with that three. That was nice and clutch right there. Come on, Harris. Make up for that turnover. Come on, dude. All right, McConnell. At least you finally got some points. Jeez, for a minute there, I didn't think you were going to get any points. All right, boys, come on. Uh-oh, Army's coach is getting a little upset. Nice rebound. Where'd it go, McConnell? Now you're starting to heat up a little bit. Took you long enough. 
Nice free throws, Collis. Nice free throws. Come on. Nice. Good job, Ernest. Good job. I like what I am seeing, boys. Well done. Keep up the good work. Come on, Jake. Come on, Jake. Get it. Oh, no, Harris is in now, not Jake. There we go. You missed the three-point, Jack. You need to do better. All right, nice turnover. There you go, Harris. There you go. Come on, boys. Nice rebound. There you go. Keep up the good work defensively. There you go. Mr. Harris. You were on fire all of a sudden. Come on, boys. Come on. Come on, Jake. Uh, oh, not a fan of that. Let's get back going the other way. Let's get a turnover. There we go. Come on, Jake. Come on, Jake. Jake, well done, buddy. Nice shot. Jake, you're shooting way too far outside there. Come on, boys. Let's go. Jake, you got to make those free throws, pal. You've got to make those free throws. Nice job, Michael. Here we go. Oh, nope, nope. Heading the other way. Come on. We got less than a minute to break at least 100. I don't know if we're going to or not, but playing pretty damn well. I'm not going to complain. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. There we go. There we go. Come on, let's get one more. One more. Come on. There it is, boys. Well done. We won 96 to 72. Hell yeah. Player of the game, Matt Harris, 26 points, 8 rebounds. Uh, second player of the game, I'd say Jake Elba had uh, 17 points, 3 rebounds, no blocks. Harris had 3 blocks, so that was nice. So did uh, Collis Knight. He had 9 points. Uh, Jack Jensen had 8. Tommy Smith, I think it was Tommy Smith, had 2. McConnell had 9 when he finally turned on. Uh, Tim Cleveland had 12 off the bench. We might start him at point guard next game instead. Ernest Brown had six points. Lewis had three. Michael Burks had two. Hester had two. Hell of a game, boys. Hell of a game. Take that for a first win. Well done. Well done, indeed. All right, we are 1-0. And, oh. and what does our mailbox tell us after our first victory?
the season began. Yeah, well, we knew the season began. All right, we're going to go look at the strategy real quick. That's how I wanted to look. I wanted to look at the depth chart. I apologize. Depth chart. All right, so Tom Harris, not Tim Harris. Or do we want to put in Tim Cleveland? Point guard. If I remember correctly, you do it like that. Here we'll do you, you, and we'll do you, you, you. And then you, you, you. Carter, we're not really going to be worried about you, to be quite honest. So, and then we're going to take you and switch with you. Yeah, see, there we go. It worked that time, finally. All right. We will try out... Timmy Cleveland is our point guard for the next game. See if he does as well as a starter as he did off the bench. Thunder Snow just did something stupid. You bought a pop-up camper. Yeah, that, that actually does sound like something stupid, buddy. No offense. How you doing otherwise, man? You doing well? Keeping warm up there? It's a little cold down here. We're trying to keep warm. Obviously, I'm wearing a, wearing a hoodie. I didn't do anything stupid like buy a pop-up camper. I am contemplating buying, uh, doing something stupid about putting some yuccas out in our landscaping so you know how that goes we'll see how that is i haven't really discussed it with andy yet but it popped into my head and something i wanted to talk to her about when she got home okay so that's what we're going to do for our next game which our next game we are playing against the mighty cali po cal poly mustangs so this is all our early season non-league schedule. All right, let's uh, head to the next game. Oh, you know what I did want to do too? I wanted to go back and look at this. The depth chart too. I forgot I was thinking about putting uh, Jake and Harrison at the same time. Night's really good, man. Night's pretty good. I think we're okay leaving where we got them. 68-59. Verse. 80-76. 44-32-34. Yeah. We'll just leave it the way it's is set up. I think for now that's going to be our best bet. I'll tell you 
Paul Harris. Or Knight, Knight 6, 8, 2. Okay. All right. There we go. Sorry about that. Getting that drastic enough. Oh, uh, we put the camper in the garage and it hardly fits with the truck. <laughs> you know what that means? You got to do something else stupid and rent and or buy a new shed to keep all your toys in. That's the Minnesota thing to do, right? And one guy I follow on YouTube, man, he's got a house with a garage and then he has a shed where he keeps other stuff. He has The dude has a truck, a Humvee, a trailer, a snow machine, a boat, and a Toyota High Acre. Both cars are getting kicked out, man. Your wife's okay with that? Keep simming till we get to the next game. Excuse me. <laughs> Yump and yimini. Next, the Cal Poly Mustangs, which ironically enough, I have a Cal Poly Mustangs hat somewhere. I have to dig it out, but I've got one. I really dig it out. It's in one of my hat boxes. I saw it really, it looked really cool and it was on sale. So, all right, we're taking on Cal Poly. All right. Hoo-wee! Oh. Uh, we're having three trees removed next to the house so the boat and camper can go back to back. Boat needs five or less work before fishing season starts mid-May. Mid Brother, that's not a lot of time. That's like a month and a half. Are you doing the five or less work or are you having somebody else do the five or less work? Cleveland, Edmund McConnell, Jack Jensen, Collis Knight, and Matt Harris. And right, here we go. Go to tip off. See what we can do. You'll be doing it. Huh? My best of luck to you, my friend. Sounds like a lot of late nights and long days to me. And it, doesn't it get itchy too, fiberglass, if you, if you don't do it right? Kind of like how insulation is. Why is it making me redo this every time? That's ridiculous. Fiberglass is actually easy to work with. Good, good. You would think the game plan would be automatically the same. I wouldn't have to like change it every time. That's very interesting. Probably gonna come back to bite me in the butt since I didn't uh, have it set up early. Maybe we'll get lucky and get some turnovers and score some points. There you go. Good job, Harris. 
Good job, Mr. Harris. Keep up the good work. Well, that was terrible. Good job, Jake, on those rebounds. Play Scott. How you doing, buddy? You having a good night? Come on, boys. Nice rebound. Here we go. Hope you're doing well. We're playing a little Draft Day Sports College Basketball 2022. We are the Mississippi Valley State University Delta Devils. As some of you may know, the alma mater to the Hall of Fame wide receiver Jerry Rice. The uh, This is our first episode. We're calling it Dancing on the Delta. We're trying to get them to the NCAA tournament and to eventually, obviously, win a national championship. Uh, according to our t school info at the beginning of the season there, we've only been to the tournament five times and have never won a national championship. So, we will see what we can do. We won our first game against Army. This is our second game playing against Cal Poly. I turned the, uh, there was some game sound, so you like heard an actual basketball game and crowds and stuff, but it, I felt like it was just like trying to hear it over me and probably over the music was a little too loud. So I turned it off. Come on, boys. Come on, Harris, you need to do better, buddy. You're getting the defensive rebounds, but we need some more points out of somebody. Anderson's got nine. Harris or Harris has nine. Anderson has 11 for them. No. Come on, boys. You need to step it up. Okay, I've been warned. Probably because I'm the away team. I'm doing well, man. Doing well. It's been a long day. Uh, just glad I'm able to actually get this game going on stream instead of like last week when I tried to play it and was using the uh, game capture and it didn't work. It wouldn't recognize it. And then using the, uh, it's halftime, I see, by the way. Uh, Drew Anderson is a player of the half so far. They're forward with 11 points, 2 assists, and 5 rebounds. Uh, so, tried using game capture, it didn't work. Was able to show it with display capture, but it was making OBS freeze up. So, last ditch effort was to use window capture, which, uh, thankfully one of the guys in the draft day college sports community told me about and here we are works great all right so cleveland is one for four definitely not matching his output as uh when he came off the bench last game that's kind of why i started him he had a really good game our first our first game of the season tim cleveland here had a really good first game so instead of starting Tom Smith again, I started Tim Cleveland at, at point guard. Oh, let's see. Harris is having a good game, which I expected. He was our best player last game. He's got 11 rebounds, which is nice. Nine points. Jake Elbard. Four points. Three rebounds. Not as good of a game as he had last game. All right. Let's see what we can do in the second half. We are down uh, 43 to 90. That's 43 to 92. 43 to 39. Here we go. Come on, boys. There we go. Come on. Nice. Nice. All right. Come on. 
Come on, defense. Boo. Jeez. Multiple misses there. That's always good. Good job. Good job, Jack. Come on, boys. There we go. There we go. Let's get a turnover. Play some defense. Go back the other way. Let's take the lead. Let's take the lead. Good job, Mr. Harris. Good job. Come on, boys. Come on, Tom. Trash. That's why we put him on the bench, too, because he, he had so many turnovers last game. Point guard is one of the things that we are trying to recruit for for next season. We need a better, better point guard, better assists, better steals. The guys we have right now are not uh, anything to write home about. I think we have one recruit so far who's actually uh, verbally committed to the team, and he's he's a point guard. So we had three scholarships total. We got one going to a point guard, and we're trying to get another one off of a a forward in the center. But we also backing up to those because if we make one of them I think should be actually a better point guard than the guy we recruited who we could actually shift over to shooting guard to be honest so come on boys let's play a little defense here there we go there we go nice come on now There we go. We missed a three pointer, but on. Come on, boys. Nice rebound, Harris. There you go. There you go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, Harris has been doing really well. He's rebounded like a fiend this game. Come on. I don't think we're going to pull this one out. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Come on. These are your chances right here to get us tied up. Come on. I'll have to watch the Blues game. All right, buddy. Have a good night. Thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you. Yeah. That's not going to work. We're going to... Unless something changes, they're going to keep pulling away. Unless we make a defensive stand here. Yeah. So we make a defensive stand, and then we can't score. we got to score. There we go. Another defensive stand. Come on, another defensive stand. That was not it. That was definitely not it. Yep, they got this one. Well, we're one and one. Also doesn't help that I thought the offensive and defensive strategies were automatically this set up each game. I didn't know that it, I have to reset it up every game, so that's kind of a pain in the butt. But at least now we know that going forward.
least we're keeping it semi-close. It could be a lot worse. It could be... Whoa! I was not expecting that. We could be getting blown out. At least we kept it somewhat close. Not perfect, but... Only lost by seven points. Anderson has 16 points, so he didn't score many the rest of the game, so that's nice. Uh, let's see, our best player was Matt Harris with uh, 15 rebounds, one block, 19 points. Collis Knight had 11 points. And McConnell had 10 points. And uh, let's see. Smith had nine points on the off the bench. Jake had another good game off the bench, had eleven points and six rebounds. Cleveland had a really bad point uh game as a starter. So we're more than likely gonna put Smith back in as a starter and just let Cleveland come in off the bench, I think. I don't know. We might give him a second game and see what happens. Maybe give him a second game at uh, starter and see what happens. I mean, if he has two bad games in a row, then we'll we'll go from there. All right. We are one and one. Who is our next game against? Our next game is against the Montana State Bobcats. Harris has been our most consistent best player so far. It's good to know. Uh, now I think about it, I should be recruiting each week too, and I forgot to do that. So let's go and look at our recruitment. See what we got going on here. John Wright, sir. Watch. Host. No, thank you. Okay. And let's look at Eleron Andros. Watch. We're not going to text you because we don't need to text you. And who leaves that with... We also then want to look at Jeff Carter. Watch game film with Jeff Carter. His stealing is not good. Our other dude, who was hot, is now gone. Jose, he was the other point guard we were looking at. He must have committed somewhere else. Let's see where Jose went. Jose is not even on the list anymore. Okay. Guess we never contacted him. I know we scouted him. He was on the watch list, wasn't he? And there's Bowman. It's like Jose didn't even exist. But he did. I know he's there. We saw him. That's okay. That's so crazy. He's gone. Huh. All right. Let's go interest to recruits again. All right. So right now we're going to try and get John Wright and try and get Andros going forward. On to the next. Montana State University. The Bobcats of Montana State. Let me up here for a minute, rearrange my seat.
All right. Little or State at Jackson State. Okay. Twenty one, so we got like two days. Let's go look at the players again, see if they've already been watched. Nope, oh, still scheduled. Good. Okay. So, play sim. Nice win there by A&M Corpus Christi. We got Montana State, then Sacred Heart, and then High Point. Sacred Heart and High Point are both 2 0 already. Montana State is 0 1. There's our match. We are playing. The Bobcats. Whew. Something's playing on Auburn. Jackson State's playing Abilene Christian. Pine Bluffs playing New Jersey Institute of Technology. FAMU's playing VMI. And South Alabama and Bethune Cookman. Let us see. How we're looking so far, and we're not into the actual season yet. So, Thin Cookman those three and zero, and we are one and one. Okay. All right, here we go. Little basketball for y'all. Texas Southern. We don't have actual players. Like uh, that's the one thing that uh, this mod does. It does give you the history of the teams, the correct coaches and stuff. I believe it did originally. Um, we simmed one season into the future because we didn't want to play that first year. So we. What well, it gives you correct logos, stuff like that, team histories. So. We don't get the actual like player names though, so like Shaq's son isn't playing for Texas Southern, you know, stuff like that. All right. Here we go. Oh, we had emails. I probably should have stopped and looked at those. Let's look at the mail. All right. So, Navy Scout Report, High Point Scout Report, and Jonathan Seeluck has signed his letter of intent. So, he is coming to play. Yeah, good passing. His stealing is not great. His handling's good. Scoring's good. Outside shooting's excellent. B overall. So he should be a little bit of a uh, upgrade. All right, 
Let's play the game. Okay. Two D. Starting lineup: Tim Cleland, Edmund McConnell, Jack Jensen, Carlos Knight, Matt Harris. Ooh, they got one guy putting up 24 points a game. Okay. That ought to be fun. Go to tip off. Okay, let's make sure we do this. Yeah, let's do this. And there. Here we go. It's not good to start off the game with a turnover there, Timmy. Nice rebound, Mr. Harris. Nice rebound. There we go, Jack. There we go. Nice rebound, Edmund. Come on, boys. Come on. You need to do better than that. No bueno. Nice rebound, Jack. Nice rebound. Come on. Definitely need somebody to score here. This is getting ridiculous. Good job, Jack. Not good. Not good. Come on, dude. There we go, Jack. There we go. Nice job, Matt. Nice job. Nice job. Come on, boys. There we go. There we go. Nice, Collis. There we go. You got a nice offensive rebound. Nice, nice shot made on the rebound. Come on, you can't let them make, get those uncontested rebounds like that. Can't let them get those uncontested rebounds. No bueno. No bueno. All right, come on. Let's play a little defense here. 
There we go. Nice turnover. Our defensive rerun, I guess, technically. I didn't see the shot, to be honest. Come on. If you're not going to play defense, at least play offense. Holy shit. There we go. Nice defensive rebound. Let's get it in there. Come on, Harris. You need not take those shots. You need to get in and get under the basket. Come on, boys. This is just ridiculous. Good job, Harris. Horse piss. Come on, Cleveland. You're killing me, dude. Thank you, you're in. Okay. Good. I was going to put you in. Holy shnikes. Cleveland was playing like crap. Come on, boys. Let's do something here. There we go. There we go. Come on. Come on. Nice rebound. Come on, Jake. You need to get in closer for that. That's ridiculous. Come on, boys. This is hard to watch. This is hard to watch. Try favoring the inside, see if we can get it into the boys. See if maybe that'll help. Get into Harrison Jake. Come on, Jake. Nice rebound, Michael. That's better than nothing. You know, he missed the second one. Boys are not playing well.
yeah this is not uh not ideal not ideal we are getting stomped this game come on boys no and we're just gonna go heavy inside at this point it's it's probably our best option I'm sure we're not they're not gonna like it but night come on dude it's trash it's plain trash Oh, what an atrocious first half. It's definitely been... That's terrible. Yeah, Chuck, that first half has been terrible. The boys have just been thoroughly disappointing. Come on, boys. <sighs> there we go. Nice rebound, Jake. Nice rebound, Jake. Terrible first half. Terrible. Damn shame. All right. So, their player of the half is Jarrell Kemp with 11 points, one assist, and five rebounds. Our team has been terrible this entire game. Everybody. Nobody's been good. Nobody's balling out. Nobody's showing off. It is sad. All right, boys, come on. Let's do something. We're going to go back to balance. See, maybe you can figure something out the rest of the way. That's definitely not how to do it, Jack. Of course he makes a three. Nice shot, Tim. About time you did something. One for freaking nine, sir. You are not going to be starting next game. You are back to being a bench player. Come on, boys. Come on, let's go. Defense. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, Harris. There you go, Tim Cleveland. Get at least two free throws out of the three you shot. I've been playing terribly otherwise. Speed this game up and get it over with because you ain't going to win. You are getting shellacked. See if we can get kicked out of the game. 
Matt ignores the code. Okay. Terrible, man. Terrible. We're definitely going to have to uh, get some new blood in this offseason because this is not pretty. Just been shitty. That's all there is to it. Not good. Not good. Come on. Let's get a little offense going somewhere. Something. Nice rebound, Jack. Too bad you guys couldn't do anything with it. Very disappointing, this game. Dude, you guys are just ice cold tonight. Holy cow. <sighs> nice rebound, Jack. Well, Cleveland, I like the fact you have 10 points. I hate that it's taking you that many shots to get the 10 points. Come on, Jack. We're going to speed this up because they've been having like crap and I'm sick of seeing it. I'm not even going to lie about it. At least attempt to make it interesting here, it looks like. You're trying, maybe. I'm not going to hold my breath, but... <laughs> oh, excuse me. Come on, let's at least get to 60. Make the game look a little closer than it really was. Nope, not going to happen. Not going to happen. That's two losses in a row. Gerald Kemp with 21 points, one assist, and nine rebounds. Our best player looks like it was Jack Jensen. He had 17 points, nine rebounds, uh, two blocks, one steal, no assist. Second best player, Tim Cleveland, 10 points, 
scoring wise best player I should say um, Harris had six points and eight rebounds but he had an off game a little disappointed in all of them Jensen was probably the best. Jensen was easily our best player but that was very disappointing very disappointing not too happy about it we had fast break points was nice our second chances were terrible and our points in the paint were terrible so that was not a good game not a good game at all All right, let's check out the recruiting real quick. See if we need to watch film. Hey, we can scout live even. Host recruits? No, scout live. We'll take it. All right. Andros, watch film. Scout live. Blew a lot of money right there. And Mr. Carter. Jeff Carter. Watch Scout Live. That will work. Cole, your passing's all right. That's all right. Your scoring's terrible. Outside shooting's okay. Passing's good. Free throws are good. Athleticism's good. Defense is trash. Scouting's okay. All right, let's go to the next day. I think we have Sacred Heart next. But we are probably going to end the stream here shortly. Oh. See what our coaching staff has to say after that terrible loss. This is new implementation this year. You're going to see it over here. It's going to be a, a thing talking about yeah, coaching help. This is all new this year. All right, offense runs a flex. I suggest you spend much more time and practice on this because we have a lot of work to do. Dude's main man stars okay, but the bench could use some help. Better keep up practice time here. Uh, defense in stars need some work. Next opponent, we don't need scholarships left to offer. So, we will go to practice plan. And we're going to put the triangle down to five. Put the flex up to 25. I'm going to save that change. Let's go to the insights and see what they have to tell us. Uh, 88th in scoring, 191st in steals, which is trash. 56th in rebounds, okay. We're terrible at assists, 251st. So we are not that good. So. All right, so we are going to save the game there. Um, I stream every now Monday night from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Central Standard Time playing Draft Day Sports College Basketball 22. We're going to be doing this save, the, the Dancing on the Delta with the Mississippi Valley State Delta Devils, trying to get them to uh, college basketball greatness, uh, win the NCAA tournament national champs um, then on Tuesdays and Thursday nights I stream from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Central Standard Time playing football manager we have our Arctic Circle football with Bjorn Vatten in Norway we're currently in the Obos Ligen which is the second division of Norway uh, getting ready to start we'll have our first match of the new season tomorrow night and then Saturday and Sunday middays we do 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Also playing football manager with our Bjorn Vatten Arctic football save. So, thanks everybody for coming out. Uh, thanks Soldier Six. Thanks Breeze. Thanks Thunder Snow, and Play Scott for all coming out and chatting tonight. Hope you have a great rest of your night, uh, day, morning, whatever it is, wherever you are. And we will see you tomorrow night. Um, thanks again. Have a great time. I don't think I. You know what? Let's see if anybody's on. We might actually go ahead and get you over to somebody. I don't think there's a lot of you, but let's see if there's any way we can raid. And I don't think anybody's playing this game, though.
Yeah, let's go ahead and get you over to play Scott who was in here earlier. So we'll go ahead and raid him. All right, we are going to see you all tomorrow night. Have a great rest of your day. See you all next time.